Guys, it's not every day you're gonna see this happen. We got the manic mechanic here making the magic happen on this one of a kind. World's finest CR500, I'm gonna call it that. You, you got a better one, send it to us, but I don't think I've ever seen. When AJ built this, said, AJ, this has gotta be the best one you've ever built. From the handmade aluminum radiators to the handmade billet components on this thing, you know, the, the hand polishing, it's a handcrafted works machine is what we're looking at here. The shock on it is an MX Tech. Good luck trying to get one of those. Uh, it took us damn near close to a year. This held the bike up forever, but um, Jeff, tell us what you got there on the lights. Give us a quick demonstration. Hold on yeah. a second. Tell me what you got here. All right, well, we got this little lighting kit for this bike. It's got a 12 volt battery. It's blinding. It's, it's, it's got a horn, it's all LED. I can't even look at it. I mean, it's ridiculous. It'll burn a hole through your... It uses very low voltage to run this stuff, so. That thing's sick. Yeah, this is, there isn't anybody in the world gonna have a mo this motor, anything like this when it's done. Well, these are going on too. Oh yeah. Oh, did we, we forgot to mention, we got to call the guy who bought it and ask him if he wants a video of us sending this down uh, the reservoir road. Yeah. So this was a this was a combination build here with uh, Eric Gore did the 539 big bore and stroke in the custom liner on the cylinder. There's no chrome on this bike anywhere. That's polished aluminum, machine and hand polished aluminum. Malara Race Engineering made the intake. The cases are by Built500.com. The godfather, AJ Wagoner, made the cases. It's got our favorite carb, the Kian Air Striker, the twin air filter, and look at this. Open a can of whoop-ass. That's the reservoir for the, it's got a sense of humor, for the shock. This thing is just polished aluminum swing arm. Guys, this is a brand new 2022 CR500 AF. It doesn't get no better than this. The forks have the MX Tech inserts on top of the original Shawa fa factory uh, forks. Just a beautiful piece. The motor is, well, it's the most powerful 500 we put on the dyno here yet. 61.89 rear wheel horse, which puts it at 70 at the crank. Um, it, with a small pro circuit MX pipe. If you put a big CPI on here, you'll pull a few more horse out of it, but uh, it wouldn't be as versatile. It'd be a little smaller. I mean, a bigger pipe, so it'd be more likely to get damaged, uh, for sure. But um, kind of gets in your way a little bit, moving around, but. What else can you tell them about this, Jeff? The horn, turn signals? Yeah, we got the 12 volt battery. It's a maintenance free. It's mounted in the air box and I had, I mounted it upside down and it's got a little shock to it. I put it upside down because the post would have been right between the frame and it was, it's apt to show it out, so it's working out. It's perfect spot for it, actually. National shock. Look at that thing. What a beautiful piece. It's going to be sad to see this one roll down the driveway. Stay tuned. I've got the two nice steel frame CR500s we've ever built coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless America.